Okay, question nine is just getting you to look at each form that we've learned for a quadratic function and match it to its name. So obviously the factored form, it's factorized. Um, the general form, ax squared plus bx plus c, the a, b and c are just numbers, they're constants. And then the vertex form is this one here, and we know it's vertex form because when we have it in this form, hk is the vertex. So that's just something we need to learn. Now down here we've got a, a bunch of um, parabolas in factored form, whoops, and then a bunch of para parabolas in vertex form. And it's asked us to choose a likely function to match each picture. So that's just double checking that you know what each of these gives as information. Now we've already said the vertex form gives hk as the vertex. So let's look at this lower one first because all of these look like they're in vertex form, don't they? They've all got minus a fifth at the front and that tells us we're dealing with an upside down parabola. But then if we're, if we're able to see what the vertex is and it looks like here it's minus two, three, all we need to do is sub that into the factored form. Now the factored form says we have something out the front and then we have x minus h squared plus k. So if you know that h, which is the x value of the intercept, is minus 2, you're just subbing minus 2 in here. Now you see you've got x minus minus 2. Well, that's the same as x plus 2. So tidying that up, we can put plus 2. And then the k, that's just the 3 that's tacked onto the end. That's the y value. So I need one that has, obviously they've all got minus a fifth out the front. I need it to have a plus 2 and a plus 3 to represent this. So this is just checking that you understand that hk is the vertex in that form. For the other one, alpha and beta in factored form represent our x-intercepts. So if we can see x-intercepts here on the picture at minus 2 and at 4, then what we must have is x minus minus 2 and x minus 4. I've just subbed minus 2 and 4 into that form where it always has minus something. Now obviously you can tidy that up and say we need it to be x plus 2 and x minus 4 and that helps me pick this one as the option.